Alexa, turn off the lamp. Smartphone, smart watch, smart lights, smart appliances, everything is smart these days. But what does that exactly entail, something being deemed a smart device? Well, according to the most reliable source of information ever, Wikipedia, it defines a smart device as an electronic device generally connected to other devices or networks via different wireless protocols such as Bluetooth, NFC, or Wi-Fi. So yes, it's true, many devices being introduced today are indeed smart, which I personally think is awesome. I love how technology has really embedded itself into daily life. I mean, it's a stark difference from like 20 years ago where being enthusiastic about tech kind of rendered you like a dorky geek. So a guy like me definitely gets excited when day-to-day -day devices come equipped with some very modern tech. That being said, however, these new smart devices, as great as they are, are also quite expensive. Plus, you might have some devices at home that you love that work absolutely fine, but to put it simply, they're dumb. Like, legit stupid dumb. Well, rather than replacing these perfectly working, albeit dumb, devices, there may be an affordable workaround. These are smart plugs. This is the TP-Link smart plug, one of the most popular smart plug options out there. And this one I recently reviewed in another video. This is a smart plug by a company called Light Edge. So essentially what these guys do is they allow you to plug in your dumb devices into the socket here, and these have built-in Wi-Fi receivers, which in turn allows you to connect those devices to your Wi-Fi network. Now, one of the major benefits of using smart plugs is that it smartens up your devices for a relatively cheap price. You can pick up the TP-Link smart plug for only $35 on Amazon, and this one by Light Edge is only $19.99. Now, I'm gonna show you how these work, but before I do, you're gonna want a couple things to really maximize your experience. Number one, you're gonna need a smartphone either running iOS or Android, as both of these smart plugs require you to download applications to set up and control the connected devices. Number two, you're gonna want internet and Wi-Fi form. These smart plugs really expend the most value connected to a Wi-Fi connection, as it allows you to connect to a hub, which acts as an interface for all the devices that you have connected to these things. And number three, really piggybacking off of number two, you'll want some sort of smart hub. Now, for sticking with this budget theme, I highly recommend the Amazon Echo Dot. It's by and far the best value. Moreover, the two smart plugs that I have are compatible with Alexa, making this a really good fit. So the first thing I'm going to do is download the corresponding applications for each smart plug onto my phone to get them set up. Once you plug them in and fire up the application, setup is really quite easy. You make a name for each plug, so you can call it something like lamp, TV, or whatever you plan to hook this up to. Once you see the green light, that means you're good to go, and you can start controlling the plug with the application. Now, in order to pair this with my Echo, I'm gonna need to go to my Alexa app, go to skills, and search for the skills that correspond to the smart plugs I have so I can have them be recognized. Next, I'm gonna go to the smart home section of the application, search for my plugs, and once they populate, I'm ready to start using my Echo to control my devices. Overall, these steps are super easy, so don't be intimidated. Actually, you should be excited because you're finally ready to make your dumb devices smart. Okay, so let's start off with the basic light. This is one of my favorite lamps. I just love the look and feel of this thing. And even though it does have a nice switch, as is, if I forgot to turn off the lamp one day and I was already in bed, ready to go to sleep, I would have to get up, walk over, and manually turn it off. No. But when connected to a smart plug, I have a lot more options. So now that I have the lamp connected to the smart plug, let's go back to the scenario. I'm in bed, I forgot to turn off the lamp, I'm tired, I don't want to walk all the way over. All I gotta do is open up the application, press the power button, and the light turns off. Good. It's basically like having the lamp switch in your pocket at all times, which is extremely convenient. Okay, so let's go back to the example. You're lying in bed, but you left the lamp on, and let's just say for whatever reason, you don't have your smartphone on you. What do you do then? Well, simple as this. Alexa, turn off the lamp. So when you have your smart plug connected to your Echo Dot, you can easily tell Alexa to turn it off for you. Alexa, turn on the YouTube lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off YouTube lights. Okay. okay, I get it. It's not the smartest capability. In fact, it's basically just a glorified clapper. Do you guys remember the clapper? Please tell me that you remember the clapper. Clap on. Clap off. And most smart devices these days go far beyond just the ability to turn something on or off in a more convenient way. Machine learning allows devices to learn from our behaviors, 
talk with other smart devices, and basically run autonomously without any prompt from us whatsoever. So I do recognize these smart plugs have limitations. But still, do I really want my lamb to learn my habits and my behavior? Or do I just want to be able to turn it off from bed without getting up? And that's where I pass it off to you guys. Do you guys think that smart plugs add a lot of value and actually do make devices smart? Or are they just glorified clappers? Clapper. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That's about it for this short video. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and to turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with all my other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.